what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what. Hey everyone, Matt here, and today is the day I'm going to be adding my hydrogen or my expanded clay. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, so this is the hydrogen that I got, or the expanded clay, or the hydro clay, uh, neutrified. Basically, I bought it from a hydro store uh, here in California. We got a bunch of them around here, but there was one in particular that I liked. Uh, gave me a good deal on the price. Uh, that's the other thing, if you're buying a, uh, a lot of this stuff, which I am, because I plan on building a lot of different grow beds, um, you know, let them know that you're, know how much you're going to buy before you go in the store, and then let them know, hey, look, this is how much I'm going to be buying from you guys, and that's not to mention all the other things that I'm going to be buying from you guys. Give me a good deal on these grow, uh, on this grow media, and uh, you might get a good deal. So, um, <laughs> sorry, my rabbit's just off the the shoot here um there she goes <laughs> so anyways um so i have barrels right now but i do plan on doing ibc totes um basically um you know a lot bigger of grow beds um, but right now i have the half barrels and these are 55 gallon drums if you cut them in half it's about 28 gallons uh, per half so if you look down here at the bottom it says 13 gallons so you need about two and a half bags um, to fill up one uh, half barrel. So uh, I basically I basically just open the bag up and then I'll wash little bits at a time um, and let the water kind of drain into my grass because I don't ever water my grass, but uh, it gets watered this way. So um, maybe I'll sh yeah I'm gonna show you a little bit of uh, washing and how I do it. So let's get to that. All right, so you just want to wash the bag. There we go, it's ready. I did want to mention one more thing about this particular brand. Um, I got a lot more in this bag for a lot less. Um, I can't remember the name of the other stuff, but it was basically a um, like a 10 gallon, I want to say, bag. Um, and it didn't have much in it. Plus, um, the actual uh, clay balls and the other one there was like a little bit of clay balls like a little bit of the round ones and then there was a little a whole lot of just uh, flat pieces and broken pieces and all this and that uh, this stuff right here and you'll see it when I start opening the bag up this stuff right here it's got a bunch of round um, round pebbles and uh, your hands will just thank you for for getting this you can get a lot of those other things like rocks and all these different things like I talked about in the other videos, but this stuff just makes it so much better on your hands. So um, let's go ahead and get in the bag and then I'm going to show you how I rinse it off and we'll add it to the grow bits. All right, so I got the bag open and I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. If you guys can, yeah, you can see it. So anyway, you see that? I mean, just almost all the balls are just round and nice. Going to be really nice in your hand or your hands. Um, and this stuff is super light too. So I'm going to put it in that container back there and I'm going to start to wash it. And I'll show you the inside of the container because you want holes in your containers in order to get it all cleaned out. Or you can use like a, a shade cloth or whatever. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, so this is the inside of my container, and as you can see, I got a lot of holes drilled inside of it and stuff. And I should have really put some in the sides, um, but this will do it. I'm just going to rinse it off. Uh, you want to put in a little bit at a time and then rinse it off. Kind of test it, uh, your container, see how it goes. But you basically want to put it a little bit at a time because there's a lot of dust and a lot of powder that's inside this uh, these bags. So um, just start off with little bits at a time because you want to get all of that rinsed off because... All that's basically like sharp little shards and it'll eventually burn out your motor um, on your pump. So you want to make sure that uh, these shards get taken out as best you can. So, yeah. See all that dust? That's what you do not want in your system. 
And you don't want to dump it all over the grass like I just did. I mean, I didn't dump it all, but you know what I mean? You don't want to, this stuff's expensive. Believe me, I'll be hunting down every single pebble. There we go, there's a nice amount. And let's get this more inside the shot here. <clears throat> just to show you what I do. And then I basically just give it a good rinse out. And if you have a thin layer like this, it's a lot easier to rinse it out and it drains really easily from these uh, buckets or from this container that I have. So, but you basically just want to rinse it out like that real good uh, and then add it to your grow beds. Um, my pH is already pretty low, so there's only going to be a little bit of water going into it that has the higher pH from my hose water. Um, and that is something you guys want to keep in mind when you're adding gravel and you rinse it out. All the water that stays in that gravel is going into your grow beds, and which means it's going into your system, which means the pH of the water or whatever is in that water is going into your system. So keep that in mind. Uh, you could rinse off with RO water. and. Uh, but good luck with that. <laughs> That's a lot. So anyway, I'm going to continue this and then you'll see me putting this stuff in the grow bed. So yeah, this is basically what I do. I just fill it up. And um, I already have the water level set by my downpipe, which you can see in another video. Uh, but basically the gravel will only go up this high, but you want to keep planting it out until it stops being so loose like it is right now. So you just keep putting it in there until it popped off. You're loose. You're not gonna get all this stuff, but you wanna kinda go for just a little cleaner. Um, but it's it's pretty good. So let me get the rest of it in and then I'll plant some stuff in it. So as you can see, we are all done. So um, I'm gonna plant some stuff. Uh, I got some onions here that I had from the grocery store actually the other day. And we had a couple left, so I threw them in the aquaponic system, and the root system went crazy. And then we have some cucumbers here. So I'm going to get them in the ground or in the uh, grow bed before they start wilting, because these grow, uh, wilt pretty quick. So let me do that, and then I'll get back to you. Maybe I should show you how easy it is to plant these out then, huh? Um, sorry about the sunlight and stuff, but uh, you can deal with it. <laughs> so basically, you just dig a hole. You want to make sure the roots go down pretty good. So I grab the roots like this and I just kind of gently stuff them down. Okay, and then since this is an onion, you want to kind of bring it up almost to the surface. And that's it. So let me plan out the rest. All right, so now we have three grow beds. So uh, I'm not saying I'm going to plant these. I'm just doing this to show you guys. Um, yeah, so everything's looking pretty good. Um, my water's a little, um, a little, uh, something's going on with it. Uh, I'll figure it out in the next few days, I'm sure. But yeah, the onions are doing really well in another bed, and so I'm sure they'll do good in this one. Um, pretty much the, the, the gravel is already, I'm just going to have it running like this. I'm not going to have a bell half on it, um, which is another cool thing. You guys try and do this. You can put the bell on it right away if you want just to have it flood and drain. 
but I, I want to let it kind of, I mean, this is just a thought in my head, but I want to kind of let it run, like let the water just run through this stuff. Um, that way all the bacteria just basically takes over all this gravel uh, or all this hydrogen. So, and then um, I should get way more biological uh, filtration from this for the fish that I have and the, uh, yeah, for the fish and, and all these other plants and stuff, or for the fish and the snails and stuff, snail mega. So you can see him on my uh, other YouTube channel on uh, the fish tank, youtube.com forward slash the fish tank. So anyway, God bless you guys, and like always, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.